As discussed in other videos in this series, Excel provides a number of ways to choose actions or modify settings for pivot tables, either from buttons on the pivot table tools ribbons or by right clicking and selecting from the resulting shortcut menus. There is one other place to look, which is discussed in this video. If you can't find an option anywhere else, you might try looking in the pivot table options dialog box. Here's a typical pivot table. To get to the pivot table options dialog box, I will choose options from the pivot table tools analyze ribbon. It's also available by right clicking anywhere in the pivot table. As you can see, the options are categorized in six tabs. I won't explain all of the options, partly because there are a few I've never used, but I will point out a few of the more useful options. First, above all tabs, you can rename the pivot table to something more meaningful. Next, in the Format section of the Layout and Format tab, you can choose how to treat cells with error values or empty cells. By default, empty cells show blanks. If you would rather have them show zeros, you can change it here. Next, the Totals and Filters tab has an intriguing option that allows multiple filters per field. Actually, I looked this up on the web, and the description is a bit misleading. According to the web, this option should be checked if you want to allow all values, including those hidden by filters, in subtotals and grand totals. I think it would be confusing to show subtotals and grand totals this way, but you can try it if you like. The Display tab provides an option that users accustomed to older pivot table versions might appreciate. It lets you see the classic pivot table tabular layout where you are allowed to drag fields directly to the pivot table. The Data tab has an option for refreshing the pivot table each time the workbook is opened. This is handy if the pivot table is based on an external data source that changes frequently. Then with this option checked, there is no need to refresh the pivot table each time you open the workbook. It is refreshed automatically. Obviously, there are quite a few other options in this dialog box, some of which you will probably never need to change. But again, if you can't find an option anywhere else, you can look here.